I have a very unique title at MasterCard. I work in the Global Communications Group and I am VP of Influencer Engagement. So you might ask, what the heck does that mean? Um, and in fact, you know, as PR um, is evolving right before our eyes, um, we at MasterCard look at influencers as really spanning a wide array of stakeholders. So um, those stakeholders could be tr the traditional influencer, which is you know a blogger or someone that has a big following in social media, but it could also be um, a journalist who has a big influence. And as we all know, journalists and their stories very often um, really drive the conversation through social media. So uh, influencer engagement is actually a really appropriate title for not only what I'm doing, but I think what a lot of uh, communications professionals are doing these days. The insights and analysis that we derive from our conversation suite, from our social listening to, help us understand who the influencers are, where they are, what's driving the conversation, what the sentiment is around that conversation, and really helps us hone in on what we should care about and ultimately helps to drive our strategy around content creation, both on our Engagement Bureau and our Cashless Pioneers blog. How do we engage in the conversation about MasterCard? Well, one thing that we feel really strongly about at MasterCard is we don't want to just shout messages about our brand. We don't think that really resonates very well. So we look for third-party heroes and storytellers that can really help to perpetuate some of the themes and the topics that we care about so much, like uh, a world beyond cash and financial inclusion and emerging payments. Really, that's what resonates with key stakeholders when you have those third parties that are telling those stories rather than the brand. So yes, we do engage directly when necessary, but we're also looking for that third party storytelling approach to have the, the message resonate even better.